Hey, what's going on there, my friend? Ricky Burrows here. Today, we are going to talk about what is your Garden of Eden moment. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe with that bell notification so you get every video that I upload. Okay, so now back into the topic. If you were given a billion dollars to go over and do this one particular thing but it was your garden of eden moment would you go and do that one thing a billion dollars that's a lot of money most people will never achieve that amount of money in this lifetime now there's simply nothing wrong with having a thousand dollars in your account versus one billion dollars in your account. You either have a thousand dollar mentality or a billion dollar mentality. And that's a whole nother topic for another day, but I want you to get the point of what I'm saying. Would you steal a thousand dollars? You would be thrown in jail, right? That would be wrong, and there are consequences tied to that. And so if you just amplified that theft and you took a billion dollars now I'm not saying you're gonna go out and do anything like that I don't believe that you would do something like that there would be no difference between stealing a thousand dollars versus one billion dollars the Garden of Eden moment is still the same sin is still sin whether it be a thousand dollar crime or a billion dollar crime missing the mark is still missing the mark you can dig a hole as a thousand inches or a billion inches a hole is still a hole and people can fall right into it if you were to build a wall a thousand inches high or a wall a billion inches high a wall is to protect you a wall is to protect those that are behind it and the purpose of having spiritual walls is to keep the enemy out because there's a real enemy out there he really wants you to spend eternity with him in a place of everlasting uh, destruction and confusion, which is where all thieves go are going. So what does the Bible say about your Garden of Eden moment? Let's take a look at what it says in Genesis for when that first happened. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was good to look at, that it was good for food, pleasant to the eyes, that it was a tree to be desired to make one wise. Will you take the fruit and eat of it? Will you take that Garden of Eden moment and change and corrupt the course of your life? Throughout this life, you will be tested in many, many ways. But one of the things that you cannot afford is that Garden of Eden moment with God. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, verse 21, that life and death are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit of it. So what's your Garden of Eden moment with God? It truly comes down to whatever sin looks attractive to you whatever is going to cause you to miss the mark to, to miss a to completely miss the relationship that you have with god with your lord and savior jesus christ it is intended to deceive and destroy you for ever i get people's reactions to this all the time where they say well i just like living in sin well no you don't like living in sin you like the promises that sin makes but the effect the end result of sin is void confusion and distress and uncertainty and the great unknown mystery of what is going to happen when you are going to pass away yet jesus christ is the fruit that was crushed for us and his blood is what we are called to drink and we are called to claim it because that blood is what cleanses us from all of us now if you're saying to yourself well where is it it's not a physical thing like what some churches actually promote i believe the roman catholics believe when you drink the wine you're actually it changes into the blood of christ and then you drink it jesus said do this in remembrance of me he didn't say 
Okay, now this is become my physical blood. Now he said, do this in remembrance of me. So with that being said, I hope you find victory in your Garden of Eden moment when you claim the blood of Jesus Christ, when you call upon the name of the Lord, when you are saved and delivered from the devil who's trying to get you to eat the fruit of sin, which the end result of that is death. Thank you for patiently watching this video all the way to the end. Hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can see more content as I put it out there. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. God loves you. He cares so deeply for you and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.